sports fans, ASMR Sports here. Do you see this? It's an empty, empty box of gum. Um, so, I think we're gonna do this uh, without any chewing noises. Which I'm sure will disappoint many, but some people request that from time to time, so I guess um, we'll take this opportunity to do that. Um, Alright, today I'm going to do um, a couple of things. Um, as you've noticed, my videos are getting longer, so I'm kind of storing up a few things to go over each video. And, um, yeah, I don't know, I'll try that, but maybe I'll start doing like shorter videos and breaking up things again but all right so so basically the two things i want to get to today are um going over a uh an order of bbce uh graded or um authenticated and wrapped uh boxes of cards uh, both sports cards and some non-sports and then um we're going to do some soccer stuff i have kind of a, a show off of um, some of the things that I've been buying, actually pretty much all of the things I've been buying on the uh, on the soccer front, and it's all on open stuff. I don't really buy singles of soccer yet, so <coughs> um, it'll be just kind of some of the unopened stuff. It's nothing like too crazy, but I thought I would uh, talk about it a little bit for those who are interested in soccer, and I know I have a fair number of soccer fans on the channel, but I have relatively little uh, soccer content just because I yeah, don't really have a ton of soccer cards, and before the last, like, month or two, I didn't really buy that much either. Um, Alright, so I want to get through this uh, BBCE order, so um, for those of you who don't know, BBCE is a baseball card exchange, and they're a sports card um, dealer um, out of Indiana. And um, they uh, provide a service of authenticating um, unopened boxes of cards of all kinds, including sports, uh, non-sports cards, as you see here. Um, so you package up your um, the boxes of cards and mail them on in to them and they open them and look at the packs and see if they think that they are, uh, you know, um, truly unopened based on the way that they're sealed and a, a few other indicators of the wrapper um, around the sports cards they can tell whether they think it's um, been untampered with or not. And if it looks like all the packs are untampered in the box, they'll wrap it up. As you can see here, um, so this first box is a, a box of uh, garbage pail kits. I had like one or two boxes of these in the last BBCE video I did, but um, these are probably the better boxes that I have of this stuff. Um, in between the ones from my last BBCE video and this one, this is all of the um, garbage pail kits that I have in full boxes. Really, I guess it's all the um, garbage pail kits I have at all. So, um, so this is uh, the earliest box of um, garbage pail kits that I have. It's it's from 1986, which so this was like the first, um, the first series in 1986. Series one and two were 1985. Um, it's the third series, and um, I see that on this. Uh, so this is the sticker they put on there, um, you know, to kind of indicate that they've investigated and found legit the box of cards, and it's wrapped in this. Uh, baseball card exchange um, cellophane as well, but um, I noticed that uh, this one says uh, with 25 cents, so I think that there are variations of this box, and I have no idea um, whether 
the with 25 cents version is rarer than others or more common than others, but I may someday look that up when I get really bored. Um, so fourth series right here, and you can see that uh, the design for the first, second, third, and fourth series were all the same. They basically had this picture. This is a card, um, the atom bomb card that's in the first series, and that's actually a really valuable card. Um, and there's a few variations, as with all Garbage Pail Kids. Uh, it's like got some other names, too. I don't really know a ton about Garbage Pail Kids, but that's what I know. And then um, Series 4 is all f also from 1986. And you can see White Cloud with 25 cents. Um, so that's another variation. So I'll have to look those up. Um, so I've got this, uh, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, and this is the fifth. Um, okay, did I just say it was the first through fourth that had this image? Because it's actually through the fifth. Uh, I was looking at the sixth series, and that's different. So it's series one through five all have this atom bomb photo on the box. Um, and this one says with without 25 cents so this one the packs do not say 25 cents um all right i really uh, i'm glad they put those variation indicators on there because i would have no freaking idea what variations are there there are what variations i have and then once they seal it up the variations are on the wax pack so it's like you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to tell without unsealing it which you don't want to do so this is the um sixth sixth series i believe this will be from 86 as well yes 86 and this says without without the 25 cents so there you have it there so there's some pretty pretty relatively early garbage pail kids as you know if you watch my other video this stuff goes all the way up to like the 14th series or something like that um all right cool so uh, I sent in a fair number of uh, kind of early 90s basketball boxes, and this is um, one of them. This is a 1989 Hoops Basketball um, Series 2, or I don't know what they call this, but it's got like cards, updated cards of um, guys from the draft that were not in the, um, in the you know, original version of this product, and it's got cards of um, Orlando Magic and the Minnesota Timberwolves that were um, that were expansion teams at the time so that's that's a pretty inexpensive box and it's kind of a fun one to get I I think you can get those you know on um, authenticated for I don't know probably like 40 bucks or something or maybe actually less for that that series two one those are less expensive than series one you get series one um maybe for like 60 bucks something like that um but that those series two ones are uh yeah probably like 30 bucks right now maybe 35 um and you can you know get some cool cards dave robinson rookie card you can get jordan all the series one in those two but um in any event this next box is a uh, box of 1990 OPG hockey, which is kind of cool, you know. Um, actually, it says 1990, but this is really like 89, 89-90 season. Um, Topps version says 1989. Um, I actually opened um, some Topps packs of this year on this channel not too long ago, and I, I've always loved this set. I don't know why I think it should be like a lot more valuable than it is. It does have some really good cards in it, I think. But I think it's just relatively common. But I, I don't know. I, I see this set as kind of like the 89 Fleer of basketball, where, you know, back in the day, it was it was like really um, sought after and, and relatively valuable. And then it kind of went to absolute crap. And now it's kind of like got a little bit of an uptick. But I feel like if there's ever a deluge of uh interest in like you know 80 like i don't know late 80s and early 90s hockey cards um 
I don't know, I feel like something like this has to go up because there's just, you know, not a ton of this in print. And there's some good rookies in it. And um, I think people are, you know, maybe opening, you know, as with all old wax, they're opening, you know, more and more of this stuff and the population just dwindles. And I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like the Topps version of this is one of my favorite hockey um, products. And I I actually don't remember when I got this. I got it, you know, in the past, I don't know, whatever, four or five years. But I don't even remember getting it. But um, I thought since it was an Opeach, you know, Opeach is always more valuable than Topps with these kind of 80s hockey sets. I thought I would send that in. I have a bunch of boxes of the Topps um, set from that year, and I did not send those in because they're they only sell for like 20 25 bucks i think on ebay which i think is like crazy cheap all right so i had a bunch of these i ended up getting uh eight of these wrapped these are 1990 flare basketball which when the uh, jordan documentary came out and all his cards went up this went up like big time in, in value i i bought these boxes for probably like maybe ten dollars maybe a little bit less um, I bought them in a, a group of cards that I, or a group of unopened boxes that I picked up uh, on some kind of online deal like three or four years ago, back when this was worth nothing, and then these have just really taken off. I mean, um, un, unwrapped boxes when Jordan was, uh, or when that Jordan um, documentary was like airing, unwrapped boxes were going for like, 105 bucks 110 bucks um now they're kind of down to probably about like 70 dollars for an unwrapped box for a wrapped box you're going to pay a premium maybe it's like 75 80 80 bucks um and uh i've got a few of those but i'll show you something else related to this um uh towards the end of the video so we'll just take a quick look at the label there 1991 Fleer Wax Box. So again, I got uh, eight of these guys wrapped. So that was like the biggest single thing in my order. Um, I don't know why, but I got another one here too. But I put the other ones away. Um, let's see. Okay, I'll show you this now. So um, one thing I did for the first time with this last order was um, send in an entire case of actually two products. This is one of them. So I got a whole case of 90 Fleer Basketball off of eBay, and uh, uh, I think I paid like 1500 bucks for that. It's got um, 20 boxes in it, so I sent the whole case in to um, Baseball Card Exchange. And when you do that, um, you get a special label here that says um, from a sealed case to so August 2020 is when they, um, you know, wrap this. And um, yeah, these from a sealed case labels are, uh, are printed and not handwritten, which I think they should just <laughs> print all of them. They'd save themselves some carpal tunnel syndrome. Um, but in any event, uh, there you go. There's the contact details for baseball card exchange. Anyways, um, yeah, it's, it, so so these from a sealed case boxes, as I've probably talked about before, are pretty sweet because they get a nice premium and they're, you know, they're guaranteed to be completely untouched inside. So no one's gone through the packs and kind of picked out ones that have stars showing or sequenced them to know, you know, which ones have good cards in them. And that's, you know, that's worth a nice premium. These kind of boxes are especially rare the from a sealed case just because there's, you know, so few cases out there. Um, the number that have, you know, been s able to be sent to Baseball Card Exchange because they were still, you know, sealed by the time Baseball Card Exchange came into existence and started doing this stuff is, you know, very low. So I really like these FASC boxes and, and actually these are like the first FASC boxes I've ever got. I've, I've not purchased anything that's from a sealed case and wrapped by BBCE BBC before. So 
that's kind of cool. Um, all right, and then um, along the baseball or basketball um, theme, this is probably the coolest thing that I got um, wrapped in in the entire uh, order that I did. Um, so this is a 1989 Fleer basketball box, but dun dun dun, it is a from a sealed case box. I sent in an entire case of these. Um, again, I just bought the case off eBay and, um, you know, made sure it, it looked good, like it wasn't um, broken the seals, uh, the, which is just, you know, tape. It says flare on it. Um, sent that in and, uh, you know, it got okayed and so I got a case full of boxes. A, a case of this stuff only has 12 boxes, so it's not as big as those 90 Fleer cases, um, but this is one of my favorite products of all time, especially unopened. I opened a bunch of this when I was a kid, loved the set, um, and then I, st I started buying these boxes like, gosh, this was probably about uh, 2002. Um, I started buying up some of these boxes. I only bought like, you know, one or two of them, but opened them all and loved them and of course, the, once you open the cards in here, are basically worthless because the you know main card to get is Jordan, and man, is the centering horrible on this product. I mean, the odds of getting a center Jordan are just about zero. But I don't know. I just love this set, and compared to the price of like the set that came before it, 1988 Flair Basketball, um, which is a, an amazing set. Um, but anyways, this by comparison is so much cheaper. Uh, but on, um, ungraded these boxes I think go for about maybe $250-$300 um, uh, just regular BBCE wrapped boxes I think go for about $300-$350 to $350. and then um, boxes like this from a sealed case they go for o o over $400 bucks generally so I'm really excited about this stuff and it had been forever since I don't owned any of this 89 Fleer basketball so it's really exciting to own like a whole case of FASC rabbit boxes now all right um, now I want to do some baseball um, from 89 this is an 89 Donruss baseball wax box this is another sort of thing that was selling for dirt cheap you know a year ago and before um, but with the you know big recent boom in baseball cards and people trying to get uh, you know Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards out of here that are possible uh, gem mint tens. Um, you know, the demand of this stuff has gone up significantly, and so the price of um, unopened wax has gone up a fair bit as well. So this box is a super clean box um, that uh, I bought in a lot of boxes, you know, probably two, three, four years ago, something like that. And, um, uh, I wish I had some gum. It's kind of hard to talk so long without any, like, something to chew on. Um, but, uh, yeah, these are, like, amazing boxes quality-wise. I mean, they're, as far as I'm concerned, just as good as from a sealed case. But, of course, you know, people have to believe you <laughs> when you say that they're super clean and the packs were, like, flawless in here. And clearly they were all, like, part of this box because they just sort of had like a feeling like they were, you know, they were, they just sort of matched, if that makes sense. Uh, basically, like the, the wrappers are sort of intertwined with each other, if you catch my meaning, but it's hard to explain this um, non-visually, but in any event, there's a 89 Donner's box that I got um, wrapped, and it's a super, super clean box that would be, you know, perfectly good to open if somebody were chasing cards. So, the last two I want to show you are not wax boxes, they are different formats. This is an 89 Fleer um, baseball, I have to kind of go up a little bit because it's so big. This is an 89 Fleer, in fact I should have just like put my uh, stand on something here, I'm going to try to put it on here. Um, there you go. By the way, these are the boxes of uh, Topps Chrome that will be given away here shortly. Not on this video, just because i got to go through the um, entrance and pick winners. Apologies for the delay on that. Anyways, um, this is kind of a cool one. 
I just picked this up, I think, at a card show, probably within the last two years. And again, you can get Hall of Famer Ken Griffey Jr.'s rookie cards. You can get Hall of Famer um, Randy Johnson rookie cards out of here. And of course, this set is the set that has the famous Billy Ripken F face. Um, quote unquote error card, but whether you can pull that from this box, I don't know because you have to, um, you have to look at like the, a stamp that's on the case of the product to understand if it would have the error, the Billy Ripken error card in it or not, but odds are this probably is not an error box. Anyways, here we go. It's a nice David Cohn there with the Mets on the back. Um... So yeah, so this this is not a from a sealed case because I just had this one box. Um, I'm running out of space here. Okay, so the last um, box in this BBC order is this bad boy. This is a um, rack box of '89 Fleer, and um, yeah, what can I tell you? These rack boxes are huge. They generally a rack box has twice as many cards as two wet or uh, as a wax box, so it's the equivalent of two wax boxes. So you know it's a lot of cards in there. All right, there we go. So that's the that's the summary of my latest baseball card exchange order. Um, now let's gonna let's get into some.